Hey guys, I'm here with Simple Fox, and I thought it'd be fun if we went through the game awards. That basically sums up what we're doing here, right? Pretty much. All right. We're going through and seeing the nominees. All right. Which I made you let me look at them before I ate lunch, and now I'm slightly depressed. Yeah. Um. So, I like the game awards because I feel like video. There's a lot of awards that video games go through, but there's not many that are like the Emmys or. Anything I can outright say, this is this award means something. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's important as an industry that they have a game show or a uh, award show that they can point to and say this is this is our most legitimate thing. And to me, that's always been the game awards. Mm -hmm. Didn't this used to be funded by Spike and then yeah, it was funded by happened. Spike. Then someone else sold it, and then I think Jeff Keighley solely does it non for profit now. Or for profit, but it's all contained. We're just this. Yeah, it's not like industry funded, so no. Well, it is, it, all, it, that's the other thing. I also don't take game all any award shows very seriously because it's almost always a circle jerk. Yeah, to be honest, this one's pretty pretty circle jerky. Yeah, it is because yeah, yeah, yeah. So so start. so let's go through. All right, so the big the big one here, game of the year. We got Breath of the Wild, Odyssey, Third Unknown, Horizon, and Persona Five. These are all really good games. Uh, how how many of these games have you played? I've played... Do you consider watching... And... No. Watching does not count. It can, I feel like it counts for Persona. <laughs> kind of on that. I've played a bit of Persona 5. <laughs> we both beat Zelda. But... And we both and I've, watched... I've, I've played Odyssey. You played Odyssey? Okay. That yeah, works. Steve bought it. We, we hung out and played it. The biggest thing I've been seeing online, and I agree with them, is Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is not a complete game. It's an early access still. It should not be on here. Yeah, that's that's agreeable. Even get, though it's really popular and it's sold a how many it, a, a couple million now a couple million yeah. and it's one of the most played games on Steam. Without a doubt, it does need some recognition, but not yet. All right. It, uh, I don't even want to buy it that much because it, there isn't that much. There's the one island, a few guns, and that's it. I, I don't know. I always want to play. I think it'd be fun with us. With, yeah, with I want to wait till they got more content or it goes on sale. Okay. Well, it's not going to go on sale for a fucking long oh, time. Oh, no. Anyway, I think Breath of the Wild is going to end up cleaning like, the game awards, frankly. Mario Odyssey is a good game, too, but just the amount of excite It's not... People aren't nearly as excited about Mario Odyssey as they were when Breath of the Wild came out. Yeah, yeah. Nintendo's in a weird situation because they actually... Most years they kind of put out the same thing, and this year they put out two very unique titles, and it's kind of like one's going to overshadow the other one, and so far I'd say Zelda overshadowed Odyssey. That being said, I, well, the one that I really think should win should probably be Zero Dawn, because I really, I've heard, everything I've heard was Zero Dawn was a better Breath of the Wild. It had a more compelling, more finished story. Had it, it had a well, large yeah. open world, and it looked better, frankly. Every time I see a video of Horizon Zero Dawn, it looks ten times better than it does in uh, Zelda, which was stylized, but it was, uh, I was, just, about to say, it know, was just so limited by the Switch and Wii U tech, I think. Yeah, that without a doubt, Nintendo is working with the smaller tech, but... I'd... We've already had a long spiel about Breath of the Wild 2. Yeah, so, yeah we don't need Zero to Dawn, too... I very much so will buy it and play it this winter, but... It was so undercut. That's every, every time I've uh, heard people talk about it, it was when... Because they came out basically at the same time, and they were really similar games. Mm-hmm. And all well, I could hear was... not really. Zero Dawn was completely undermined by... Breath I wouldn't the call them They're the massive. same... They're open world, and that's about... They're open world... With giant uh, giant automatons attacking you and whatnot. They're pretty similar. Uh, they're, they're two completely different stories. But there's a bunch of... What, there's weapon degradation in okay. Zelda. So when you start getting down to the nitty-gritties of the game... Well, no, definitely. Even... But, but I'm saying that if you were had to buy one, it's hard to figure out between the two because they're so similar. They're not two mm. completely different games in my mind. Like, it would be yeah. with Zelda and maybe Persona or Odyssey. Or... Those yeah, feel way doubt, more different than... Yeah, it of the top of these five, uh, Zero, Horizon Zero Dawn and Breath of the Wild are very are somewhat similar, but I still say they fight a little bit. I would still choose Zelda over Horizon Zero Dawn. All right. Just because Zero I... Dawn still seems like we've been here before. Zelda was like, let's try something new. And yeah, there was a lot of misses with it, but I'll take 
what was new and failed over what is tried and true. No, at least in this with game awards, if we're trying to kind of be artistic with this, I want to try something new. I don't want to see the same thing, even if it's the same thing done very well. Okay, fair enough. You ready to move on to the next one? You think next category is. Best game direction. I don't know what that means. I well, feel like that's the game of the They've got a category. Scroll up a little bit and I'll read the specifics. Awarded to the game studio for outstanding creative vision and innovation in game design. So, so innovation in game design. From what they're previous. Because all the games that are here, Res Wolfenstein 2, Resident Evil 7, Zelda, Od Mario Odyssey, and Horizon Zero Dawn. What is Horizon Zero Dawn from? I was about to say they're all sequels, but it... That's not a sequel. It's That's not a, a sequel, standalone. but it they are adding to the genre, is probably what they're saying. Okay, so, okay. so innovation and stuff. In general, it doesn't necessarily uh, this is, need to be a I sequel. I feel like this is way too close to uh, Game of the Year to me. Well, a game that does something new and well, I feel like should be Game of the Year to begin with. Well, I kind of want to also give it to different categories and whatnot. Yeah. This is something that's going to pop up as we continue this talk, that it's... Odyssey's going to come up multiple times. Zelda's going to come up multiple times. Yeah, well, it, they uh... did a lot of different stuff. That's cool. Like, I think Zelda should be nominated for art design, no question. Yeah. Because well, it's so it's... cool. And it should be... Uh, um, this, too, for game design. It should be nominated for that, definitely. Uh, but I think Zelda will pull out of this one, too. I don't think Resident Evil and Wolfenstein have a chance, frankly. I don't think Wolfenstein 2 really is game innovation. I'm I would have given it so many on here. I haven't heard that much about it. Well, but because it's, it's Wolfenstein good. 1. It's more Wolfenstein 1, which it's good. Wolfenstein 1 was fantastic. I love that game. And I will take seconds with Wolfenstein 2, but I'm not going to give you a pat on the back for the same thing. I'm happy. I'll pay you for it, but I'm not going to say good job. I'm I'm happy. I would have given it. I would want to give this personally to Resident Evil Seven because they did say, you know what? Let's overhaul this, take it back to the roots, and run it this way. Is that innovation though to take it back to the roots? <sighs> well, even with the roots, because I was watching um, I, I, Yahtzee I, I Croshaw's play through. I wholeheartedly um, think Zelda should win this category. They did the most with the innovation of the series, especially if you're talking about Zelda, the action adventure thing that. They feel. I feel like, for the most part, Zelda created, perfected, and then... Well, scroll back up, because I want to read the top category again. Just innovation in game direction. No, sorry, just I just want to reread that title. So it doesn't actually necessarily mean with the... It's more of innovation in game direction. So how did they revolutionize, we'll say, their field? So Wolfenstein would be the shooter, Resident Evil horror... Um, I know, that's why I'm saying Zelda, for the open, for the action-adventure genre and the open-worldness, it's way more open than a lot of others in its series. Can you think of another game that parallels it with its ability to tra traverse stuff and whatnot? I was about to say, uh, um, with that question, it's what game can you explore the whole world from the get-go? Well, there's JRPGs and well, yeah, but Dark Souls, but those brick wall you pretty hard yeah, in what your exploration is, while Zelda is... Even the hard areas, like I watched a video, there's like one of the barriers that Zelda has in it when exploring is cold areas. The number of ways you can get through a cold area is insane. Right. You can just carry a fire weapon, there's clothing, there's foods, foods you can time it with just fireplaces and just sit the night through a fire. Mm -hmm. I'm like there's options here and that's impressive. That's a, but I think I like more because Resident Evil 7 isn't even going back to the original roots because in Resident Evil 1 I watched several playthroughs of that and started to play through it myself off at one point didn't get that far but they don't go as in depth with like Resident Evil 7 was still a more of a reimagining there were lots of zombies still in Resident Evil 1 there's only five zombies there's like four or five actual zombies in resident evil 7 and then a couple of scare creatures that aren't worth much mm -hmm. so i would give it to resident evil 7 just because i think they did more with it fair enough uh i, I still think zelda's gonna win though so zelda um best narrative oh i can't fortunately we have played one what? of these games <laughs> Yeah. And we really liked that one game. It's, and so. it's the one thing I think that game did really well was 
uh, the narrative. Yeah, the narrative and how it tied in with the game plan and whatnot. Yes. Remember when we were talking about that? We were talking about it and how like each one was a different story written in a different fashion. I'm... You read a comic book. You read a... Yeah, yeah. Uh, played a video game. Each one was different based on the person, so it's like their own each unique story. Yeah, and I just want to say I'm kind of happy Hellblade's in here. I wanted to play it. I've been meaning I'm... to get around to it. But well, you'll go fifty fifty with me on a PlayStation Four as soon as I graduate college, and then we'll just sit down every evening and start playing video games. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, but yeah, I know the narrative to Zero Dawn is supposed to be really good. That's what I keep on hearing. Mm-hmm. So it may be a contender for here. I'll be amazed if either Edith Finch pulls at uh, pulls a win from this one. Mostly, yeah. mostly because I'm cynical and I think most of the triple there's more. Uh, the AAA industry will probably give Edith Finch more credit. Well, will not credit them. Right. Uh, the I, big... I think it's a circle jerk and that the indie title will be less likely to win. Not saying that it should win, that per se. I would have to play these other four games to have really yeah, want to throw I don't know my why voice into that. Wolfenstein must be really good. It's always, it's always I mean, in the here. First one, the first story I really appreciated, but... I would have to play these other four, so we're kind of unqualified to speak here. Yeah. But I can't... I'm at least happy, because even though if this is the AAA industry doing a circle jerk, I'm glad that they are at least looking at the indies with Edith Finch. Yeah. At least it's Edith, making it in there. They're be, not going to win, but the fact that it's there is great. Yeah, I guess so. And me being cynical, again, it is a triple indie game, but... Yeah. They yeah. didn't have the lowest of budgets, but hey, at least they're looking... Looking to the side. Hey, we can have commentary on this without actually playing the game. <laughs> yeah, because I played the first one, and yeah. So, best art direction. Uh, let me Breath leave, of the Wild's going to win, leave, just saying. Or up Persona. So I can read the little blurb. Do you need to... Best okay. art direction for... Uh, yeah, because we got to explain it. So, the next category, the best art direction for outstanding creative or technical achievement in artistic design and animation. So, either... Cuphead... Why is Destiny here? So, there... Two. Destiny 2. Uh, because they had to fill a slot. Cu There's a lot of slots to fill. We got a lot of choices. Okay, I think Horizon looks cool, but I think they'd probably give this to a more uh, I wanna uh, give this artistic to style. I want to give this... A more... Uh, I'm not... What's the word I'm looking for here? More Hell if expressive? I know. More... Like they actually did less something. Less impressive here, looking. Horizon Zero Dawn... I mean, yes, it's got cool robot, ro dinosaur robots, but other... Well, it's kind of like more of the automation mixed with nature and whatnot, kind of the... That's kind of its art style. <laughs> but would you say what it looks like is... Well, okay, we're comparing it to Destiny 2, Cuphead... I know, that's what I'm Zelda, saying. I'm, Persona 5. So, I think they're going to pick something that's more stylized, which Something is why... that actually has more of an artistic vision than kind of, hey, we got a robot and we bolted a gear onto a character's arm. I'm doubling down. Eh. I think Cuphead's going to win this one. I think Cuphead deserves to win this one, and if I'm correct, Cuphead is an indie game, because, I mean, it's cool to watch. And even Persona 5? I, it, it is It is an indie game but, uh, in a small development studio, but I believe it was backed by Microsoft or someone? I think Microsoft backed it. Okay. So but... that's why there was a lot of uh, advertisement for it. But yeah, Cuphead is, uh, I think Cuphead will win this. But Persona and Breath of the Wild, I think both have a chance too. Breath Especially the... because that's the one thing, or one of the many things that Persona does well is its art style. Yeah, well starting with Breath of the Wild, it is stylized, but like um, Wind Waker, that stylized, the tune stuff, sure. I really appreciate it. And that would be something I would give to Artistic Direction. Breath of the Wild? I mean, I would say Twilight Princess usually looks better than this. Than no, 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 no. Breath of the Wild's definitely a better art style than Twilight Princess. It's got, like, that whole pastel look. That was the whole thing behind Breath of the Wild for the longest time, is how cool it all looked. I, I'll and give it the... it looks cool, but I would give it just more artistically. I think I liked Twilight Princess more for that. Nah. I don't... I, I don't credit... I'm not when with I think you of in this. <laughs> Breath of the Wild, I don't give it credit for its art really i definitely do i okay. think it's got an interesting persona 5 it's not nearly as uh iconic as wind waker is i would give it to that but i don't yeah i don't say yeah that's what i'll go with that i don't think breath of the wild is very iconic in its look yeah i'd give it a, i would say it's iconic but you're you're entitled so to we're gonna go both go for cuphead yeah i think cuphead's fuck gonna Destiny win too why are you here get out yeah i well it does look good it's just uh, it looks the same as before this is best art direction so how did it change how did it go up 
Okay. Best music score. Sorry. Did you, did no. you have more? Okay. So we got Best music score. Outstanding music, inclusive score, original song, and or licensed soundtrack. Breath of the Wild shouldn't win this. I'm just pointing that out there. It's um, not that I the, it was bad. It's it was good, just it it's transforms not. as it goes, and it's it's very formulaic. You can tell what's happening and whatnot. And I I listen to it as study music, and that's not it's not a bad thing, but it's not a good thing. It, the soundtrack just sounded really simple to me, and mm-hmm. I missed the old Zelda music, the Song of Storms, and all that stuff. They could have done. I a found bit that big ones far more enjoyable than Breath of the Wild. I think. Well, I watched. There was an interesting video by Mark Brown on breath of the wild's music but they don't have any like breath of the wild doesn't have any impactful songs they only got like three or four or like the song running up to Ga- ganon's castle is impactful Terrytown is a fun little song but there's nothing i can point to and go i want to listen to this again there's yeah. no music where i'm like oh wait i need to go online and download this song because this is amazing i think persona may win this one persona may win this one just because again persona is very stylized and it's fear yeah and, and i enjoyed its music too. it's it, persona's aesthetics is one of its strongest virtues i mean yes yeah i i think persona may win that one uh cuphead's good too and my phone just went off yes it did where's your phone oh it's, it's on right the down there yeah i have a charger down there anyway were you ready to go on have yeah, anything I'll else go with that. that we'll just go on best audio design recognizing stop it the best in-game audio and sound design okay Pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. So not music, but... Sound design. So. Sound design. Sound of the weapons swinging. The horses. We got Destiny 2, Hellblade, I have, Resident Evil 7, Odyssey, and Zelda. I have no good commentary for this because a lot of these games I haven't tried. I don't think Zelda should win. I don't think Mario Odyssey should win. The other three games I have not played, so I have no idea what the sound design would be. Well, I have nothing to yeah. add. So. I've walked through Resident Evil 7, and I'll give it credit, because it does well, give I, a good, eerie Sound feeling. design would be a... Like dripping water, the sound of a monster moving. It would be primarily important, or very important, rather, in Resident horror Evil games. 7, yeah. Just horror games in general. Sound design's crucial. Mm-hmm. It's the monster coming down the hallway. It's the quiet, quiet uh, background noises and whatnot. Yeah, it's... It's part of the atmosphere of the game, and mm-hmm. the atmosphere is very important with horror. So it wouldn't surprise me if Resident Evil won. I just don't know what it sounds like to have an opinion on it. I also watched the I watched it through with the play with Rooster Teeth, so they kind of made a lot of noise. So I'm not sure. There's also Hellblade would probably be the same because it's also a horror game to a degree. It's more like a psychological thriller, ain't it? Either which way, yeah. it would still have good sound design. But we don't have much to say on this other than Resident Evil. And yeah, Destiny may win for all I know. I I feel I, like they're trying to push Destiny on us. I feel like Destiny's got to win a title. Yeah. Anything in here? I, they're going to let Destiny win a title, even though it probably doesn't deserve a title. All right. Anything. Best performance. Um, well, I what actually, do we got? I actually like, like this... Uh... Like this category because I don't think many well, best people performance actually for think a about, vo- for a individual voiceover, motion capture work, performance capture work. It's basically video games best actor. Yes. So we've got, we got? Hellblade, um, Uncharted. Well, Uncharted's gonna have Uncharted. a lot because Uncharted's acting and Wolfenstein stuff Two and important. Horizon Zero Dawn, all games that we can't really speak on. Yeah, I'm going to put it down now. One of the Uncharted people are going to win. Probably. Didn't they win last year? Not because... uh, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if they won last year. Okay. I mean, Uncharted, that's their thing. It's almost like watching a movie. Because the acting is so spot on. Well, I like to play video games. If I want to watch a movie, I want to Games for Impact, my favorite title. Yeah, we threw bricks at this last year, but yeah, whatever. Uh, I'm going to throw bricks again if Life is Strange wins. (laughs) Although I haven't played it. I didn't know before the storm's out. Before, Well, I'm not 100% sure if it's all out, but chapters are coming out. All right, let's see what... Uh, Please knock let's on see. my door, Night in the Woods, Life is Strange, Hellblade, What Remains of Edith Finch, Bury Me, My Love. Okay, here's my problem. What's the impact that What Remains of Edith Finch is supposed to have? That's what I'm trying to think. I, th- I think that was our biggest critique, and it was like, I don't, there's, there's no art. If you're trying to say something to us, we have no clue what it is. This yeah. is just a sad story. Well, it's a sad and very entertaining story. of Edith Thought-provoking Finch. game with profound social meaning and messaging. Yeah, there's none. That, uh, there's none in Edith Finch. What none the fuck? in Edith Finch. 
Hellblade is about mental sickness. Um, I haven't played it, so can't say much on it. I That's... haven't seen. I haven't played any of these, which is rare, actually. I haven't. I haven't even heard. Please knock on my door. Night in the woods. Bury me, my love. That sounds really interesting. So there's things to consider. I don't know. I'm not even 100 percent sure why Deck Nine made a second Life is Strange. That isn't really. I I don't know. Yeah, well, because they like money, and there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. But there was plenty to go off from Life is Strange. But uh, I think either Life is Strange or uh, Hellblade's gonna win because those are the big. Uh, those are dig. the big ones big. i kind of want to do night in the woods because i've watched a bit of it and listened to a good bit of its soundtrack and its soundtrack is pretty fun is that the horror one i can't no. remember no it's kind of a satire of life okay f1 so which i, always I, I feel like i've seen it before but i like the art style it looks cool it is very artsy next category all right best ongoing games awarded to the game why do you always cut the category off because it's pretty self for outstanding development ongoing content so games that are still going yeah we got warframe rainbow six siege overwatch gta online destiny 2 can play unknown battlegrounds so PUBG's gonna win i don't know well PUBG's gonna win PUBG is gonna win i just find it weird i would I would want to say an ongoing game has to be ongoing for at least a year before it can be put in this category. I think it's more of a game genre than anything. I don't think it's actually an ongoing game. I, I think like it, if you're continuing adding content like you are with Overwatch, Rainbow Six, or any of your uh, 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 what's it, the competitive games, uh, can't it's blinking on me. Online games that are meant for the online multiplayer. Right. No, but I'm talking about the ones that are played professionally. What are those? MOBAs. MOBAs, that's what I was looking that's, for. Okay. Or like MOBA titles and whatnot. Yeah. Like I think MOBA. this is actually a pretty cool game category. It is a And good I think one, the fact but... that Players Unknown Battlegrounds is in here means it shouldn't be in Game of the Year. I think this is I don't think... a better suited category. <laughs> to be honest, I don't think PUBG should be in any of these because it's not released. Well, that's that it's an ongoing game. It works if it's an early access. It's still ongoing. That way it would work. You gotta say you got version 1.0. No, I disagree. I think this is a fine category for... Uh, but I'd also give it, I kind of want it out of year. I, I'm i interested, because Warframe fascinates me, because it's one of the it's been going on for a couple of years. I think they redid it recently, right? Yes, they added a big new patch to it and added a bunch of content to it's like it. like free roaming or something now? I don't... Uh-huh. Cool. Overwatch, I... We used to play a bunch of Overwatch, and then we fell out of Overwatch. We didn't and, fall out of Overwatch, we just don't play games much anymore. Eh, we're getting back to that, but I don't know which you're choosing. Pub okay. PUBG's gonna win. What would you choose? What would I choose personally? Yeah, I like Siege. So I think we. But that's a new fancy for me, so maybe I'm biased here. I also think Overwatch is doing a really good job with what they're doing with their game and mm-hmm. the ongoing content. With I'm feeling I like GTA Five Online. Just because oh, yeah, I love there's GTA so online. much you and can do. Yeah, but they fucked it up. So I, They're not adding all that much to it very often. And they've done, just because I play on PC, they've done a real poor job of keeping hackers from ruining the experience. Yeah, G, they could Rockstar could do plenty with the game. But the fact that what I like just as an ongoing game, because we can do races, we can do shootouts. But they're saying missions. for all the online yeah. going game, they're adding content. That's what they mean by that. Yeah, and there's varied content. They add new races, they add new guns, they add new cars. The freaking trailer that is actually a mobile base, there's all sorts of airplanes now, there's the bunkers. They add a lot of variable content where like with Overwatch and Siege, it's just, hey, we got some new some new heroes, we got some new operators with new abilities. GTA V, they add the, how shall I say, like in Siege and Overwatch, they add new characters. And Grand Theft Auto, they add new mission modes, new content. They add a lot. There's a lot more variation in what they are adding. Okay. True, the game, the online version could use some cleanup, but we can go with. You can argue that with a lot of games. Okay. Fair and enough. So I just like the varied of content they're adding to GTA A Online. They're not just doing, hey, here's some more races. No, here's a bunker. So you think GTA should win? I would like GTA to win just because it's so varied in its content. All right, best mobile game. Let's do we play mobile games? Things. I don't. Okay. Do you? No. Okay. I just have my Switch, and that's about it. Best handheld. 
got a got an opinion here. I have a hilarious opinion because they released Metroid Samus Returns, even though that the fan remake got through Nintendo's sticky fingers and is in everybody else's hands. So I just would like to comment that that's hilarious. Yeah, I started playing in two R. Yeah, the fan remake. I really like the fan remake. It's pretty good. Best AR VR games. Are we gonna buy a VR headset? We I would like it. to. Okay. We can buy a VR headset. I don't have a VR ring. No. Well, I can. You can hook it up to my rig. That's cheating. Uh, super hot. Super hot. Star Trek Bridge Crew. If you've never heard of Artemis Space Commander, but whatever. Lone Echo Arena. We have. I've only heard of two of three of these games. I think Resident Evil may win. I Resident remember, Evil, Because yeah. I remember hearing that the VR was actually really good in there. I, th- I think it'd be very fitting for it. For it. I'm still waiting for them to come out with the treadmills, but other than that... Clearly we can't say how good the, it is in VR because we haven't played it in VR, so... Have you ever used a VR? No, have you? No. No. Oh. My brother did. He fell out of his chair. Good for him. Best, Best action, action game. Games. One of these we started playing last... We? Yeah. And you're pray. still yelling at me because I'm not playing any more of it. Uh-huh. I'm watching it over your shoulder. At. Mm-hmm. I've never liked the Bioshock esque system shock. I think the people kill you too quickly. It's just, it's I not fun it. game design, but I love the stories. Near Destiny 2. I want to give this. I, I'm split between giving this to Prey or Cuphead because when I'm looking at this best new action game, I kind of also want to say. What innovation did you do it? Because I am a bit of a sucker for that. Because I want to say, what did you do new? I think and Noah's going to win. Noah is interesting because it's one of the... It's a Japanese... Well, no. Dark Souls clone, but where From Software did Western monsters. We This was Team Ninja, which is... Team Ninja's domestic, isn't it? They're no. United States. Okay, then I'm wrong. Fuck no. Team Ninja, I'm pretty sure, is Japanese. Almost 99% sure. Something to fact check later. But I, I don't know. I think I appreciate it. Well, if this if we're talking action... Here's the thing, yeah. here's the thing about uh, Noah. It's Dark Souls, except it was infinitely more deeper than Dark Souls. And people were talking about it for a long ass time. Because you had a bunch of... Like, there was a skill tree and whatnot. Whereas Dark Souls is a much more simple stat thing. Like an RPG style. Mm-hmm. And just with how you attack all the enemies and the world they set up, I would be, uh, it's a major contender. I think Destiny 2 is going to win. Because <laughs> I think Destiny 2 needs to win a title, and I think this is its category. It's, it's the win. one that looks Pre- good, but Pre- they don't want to give it a Pre- good may one. Win, may have won if it wasn't for the fact that I believe it falls apart at the end. Okay. All right, then. What is our next category? Best action adventure games: Uncharted, so Assassin's Creed, Breath of the Wild. There's two more that you haven't scrolled down to: Mario Odyssey and Horizon Zero Dawn. So I Breath s- of the Wild's gonna win, probably if it doesn't win Game of the Year. Or I never understood that. Is the game Game of the Year doesn't win its pers- perspective genre category? That never made sense to me. It. I don't like they have. How dare you that... have two trophies? No. Yeah, I. Well, that's something I can edgy with this to begin with. I think you should only be allowed to be nominated for one or else things get confusing. Mm. So you can accept, they'll give you five possible nominations, but you can only accept one and then you can only win one trophy because otherwise you get most of these categories filling up with the same games. I disagree. I think if a game is really good, it should win all the awards it can. I mean, if it's the game with the game, mm. best sound design, well, then it's you the get, game with the best acting, then you get the, the game, game of that... the year. Well, yeah, but game of the year just because it's game of the year doesn't mean you should take the time to say, "Hey, the X actor did really well in this game," or the sound design was really spot on in this. Maybe there's virtues in this game that is not as good as its competitors, but collectively it was better. I'm saying on a near genre standpoint of this game's good, and we're limiting uh, competition because there's only so many in this genre. It doesn't really make sense to have. Game of the Year not win any other genre because you've already decided of all the games, it wins, mm-hmm. and then you put it in its specific genre and he says, eh, never mind. It's actually so not the best. So you're grading it on genre. different something. Yeah, yeah Game of the Year is all all categories involved. Then when we go to best sound design, well, best sound design makes sense because maybe 
it doesn't have the, the best. best sound design, but it, collectively, it's a better game. Collectively, not even win. So I'll actually give this also to you for Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I think I think Breath of the Wild will win. Uh, I don't think Odyssey is going to win a lot of awards. I think Breath of the Wild is going to outshine just because... it. I think Breath of the Wild should outshine it, too. I'm just pointing that yeah. out there. But uh, not that Odyssey is a bad game. I was having fun with Odyssey. But that's all I have for It's hard to outclass that. Assassin's Creed's also good, too, but I'm surprised it's not being nominated for more. I, nah, I'm fine. Best role-playing game. Who wants to play an RPG? Persona Final 5. Fantasy, did Final Fantasy XV come out this year? Yes. Really? Start of the year. Really? Yes. Wow. We're waiting for the PC port, don't worry. Uh, ooh. So this, we is, got this is a... South Park, Final Fantasy XV, Divinity, The Original Sin 2... Near and Persona 5. I'm happy My... South Park got nominated. Uh, I think Persona 5 is going to win. I agree to that. Just because... Er... I have no opinion on Persona... Or no fully realized opinion, I should say, on Persona 5. But from what I've heard, there's a lot of people that are very... Uh, talked Really talked up Near and really talked up Final Fantasy 15. But I think if it didn't, Final Fantasy XV was more complete, it may win. But at the end, it also yeah. fell apart. Like, it, I heard it just straight up didn't make much sense at the tail by the Well, by the end of it, they started adding the regular JRPG of, hey, you can do farming and then do a little bit of city management. No, we don't want that. We're here to save the princess, damn it. Let's go that way. Yeah, if you say so. I just don't know that much about it. I just know the story itself fell apart, too. Like, they felt like it cut many sections i heard at the tail end but anyway um and near near may win too but i really think i've heard the most positive things from persona i really think it's going to win this category yeah i also am glad to see divinity original sin 2 because that is technically an indie title yeah i don't know 100 percent sure you would have to but people that were me. really praising it it was like a left hook out of nowhere because it's... usually divinity games aren't the greatest Really? I've tried one or two of them, and they're not fantastic. They're one of those RPGs that you enter the door, and you just get hit with a wave of stuff. So for newcomers, they're kind of hard to palpable. Interesting. And then the slows, are, the beginnings are usually pretty, kind of a droll. Well, I heard this, the original Sent 2 is supposed to be really good. But yeah, I think Persona's going to win. So, Persona 5 for best RPG. Fighting game. We don't play fighting games. It's true. Best fighting game, head to combat. We have Injustice, Arms. Arms is going to win. Why is Arms in that? Arms I thought that was kind of the, hey, look at this cute little thing for the Nintendo Switch. The rest of these are it like... It was a full-fledged AAA game, 60 bucks and all. They made freaking 1-2 Switch a $60 game. They made it a $40 game, I think. It dropped? I think It I was think, 60 Was it 60 Holy yeah. shit. So Nintendo, the, the Switch games are coming out at 60 bucks because they're coming out at 60 bucks. I don't think ARMS, and I don't think ARMS is one of those tightly bound, like these games, Tekken, Marvel, DC, Universe, all those are the tightly round competitive fighters. ARMS is not that. That, no. It's the joke, haha, let's have fun. It's the, we're going to buy this and then have a good night drinking and hope somebody doesn't fist the TV. I think ARMS is going to win. <laughs> I will laugh my ass off if it does. I want to see it win just because it'll be hilarious to me. I heard Tekken 7 is supposed to be really good, though. They're, they're an ongoing The game. best family game. Splatoon, Sonic Mania, Mario Kart 8, and Mario Odyssey. Odyssey is going to win. I want to give it to Mario Kart. Just because when I hear family game, my first thought is a game the family can enjoy together but, so they play it together yeah i think the two-player functionality in odyssey is actually really good so i think it's going to end up winning because it's the best game out of these uh i think splatoon 2 has a chance of winning uh i really think from what i heard mario and rabbits is supposed to be really good the thing is i thought it was single player i think it's got a multiplayer battle oh this game, family game doesn't necessarily mean multiplayer. To I me, think it, it means does. family friendly. It means family friendly, something that even the family can like backseat the game. This game, if 
it, for a family prey play. interactive of genres and platforms. Okay. Yeah. So okay. it's the best family game. Maybe Sonic Mania will win. That's fun. Uh, you're the Sonic guy, so I want to put mine for I'm barely the Sonic say guy. I don't eight. know what you're on about. I haven't played you, you, it since Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah, you used to be. Yeah. Best strategy game. XCOM 2 should fucking win, especially the War of the Chosen. I'm doubling down on that. Okay. I'll be pissed if Mario Rabbits win. I will throw a chair, because Mario Rabbits is just a uh, kid's first XCOM, is all it is. <laughs> <laughs> You, it doesn't count. Honestly, you don't feel the weight when Mario isn't getting curb stomped by an alien snake. XCOM 2 was really fun. I liked XCOM 2. There were some uh, right. mechanical problems I had with it and some of the en enemy designs I didn't enjoy because it could go south on you real fast. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times it felt like it was unfair. But all in all, I thought XCOM 2 was a great addition to XCOM 1, excluding the fact it had some uh, 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 glitches and whatnot problems. Mm-hmm. Uh, XCOM War of the Chosen, I just started playing it. They added so much more depth to it. Like, one, you know, uh, when you go out with uh, your uh, uh, team now, mm -hmm. they have a stress level. So you have to put them on hold along with how much damage they have so they in order for them really to recuperate. Stressed. But if you go out with, like, your A team and whatnot, the more you do uh, battles with uh, just the same group... With just, like, the same group. So, if, like, me and you go out, but we have two randos with us. He always but makes we... his XCOM teams his friends. Yeah, yeah. And, and other people, too. Like, uh, I think I have Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton somewhere in the roster, too. That's beautiful. But um, it, it's really funny, though, because there's a possibility in it where if you go out with people repeatedly as a team, you grow a soldier bond between <laughs> the two. And you get bonuses and whatnot. But if you get fucked up, like, immediately the first time you went out and you got caught on fire, you came back with the PTSD of, if you get caught on fire, you get extra negative attributes to your character. Nice. You have a fear of fire. So there's, like, so many cool different things that go along with it. And they added more soldiers and, like, some new enemies with special um, 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 uh, rules for them and whatnot. Cause there's Would like it be a... bad to comment that my actual worst fear of dying is being burned alive? self inhalation or inhalation? Yeah. Yeah, being burned. My brother's is drowning, but mine is being set on fire. Like, that is one of my greater fears. Hmm. I don't know which... That's a conversation for another day. Yeah. That's funny, though. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. Is but, it funny? But well, all I'm saying is, uh, th that was a long explanation, I think XCOM 2 is the best strategy game, especially turn-based-wise. I think Tooth and Tail is live action. I played a bit of Tooth and Tail. I enjoy Tooth and Tail, but I haven't played it. it looks cool. It is fun. It is cool, but it's not. I don't give it. It's one of those. Sometimes your best strategy is just overwhelming with numbers. So I I'm not gonna give it too much to Tooth and Tail. I enjoy Tooth and Tail, but I don't I always think now I got to think of a strategy. No XCOM. What when I played XCOMs, it's always I got to think through this. Mm -hmm. I've got a plan. Well, Tooth and Tail is just sometimes bum rush them I and you're going to get this. So, I'll g agree with your XCOM category on that. Yeah, I think XCOM should win. Yeah, I wouldn't surprise me if Mario Rabbit's won. Best sports racing game. Woo -doo 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 -doo. Well, we can just skip the best sports games because we don't Best multiplayer. Them. Fortnite, Call of Duty, War World of War 2, Splatoon, Mario Kart, Destiny 2, PUBG. 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 Moving on. <laughs> Most anticipated game. By McCafe. <laughs> By McCafe. This is a bullshit category. category. This is such a circle jerk category. This is who has the best dev team. Who's paid us the most is what this is. Oh yeah. my god. Uh, the Last of Us, Red Dead Redemption, Monster Hunter, Marvel, Spider-Man, God of War. I want to go with Spider-Man. What, the most anticipated? Well, I'm going off of what of these five games would I want to play? Last of Us 2 is most anticipated, and it will be the most anticipated. Yeah. No one cares about Monster Hunter. People do care about Red Dead Redemption, and I haven't even heard of the other two, so. God of War? I mean, I've heard of God of War, but I don't think anyone's really that. Everybody kind of looked at God of War and went, Red Dead what? Red, Red De Rockstar's Red Dead Redemption and Last of Us 2? One of those are going to win, period. Yeah. End of story. I just like Spider-Man. I'm actually... Best I'm independent game. Too. Finally, I'm in my element. You uh, haven't played... You've played one of these. Uh, you've I, played but what I, remains I've got of opinion. Edith Finch, and Pryor, now I, in the I Woods need to Cuphead. play Pariah. I heard Pariah is supposed to be I have really Pariah. Cool. Is he good? I haven't played it. We should do it for Game Club. As soon as I graduate college. 
Okay. Uh, I ooh, I want to fight this between Night in the Woods and What Remains of Edith Finch. Even though I haven't played Night in the Woods, I am interested in it quite heavily. I also really enjoyed the soundtrack. Cuphead's going to win. Cuphead is going to win. I think What Remains of Edith Finch should win or Hellblade. But they're, these are all really good games. I don't. I the only thing I don't have an opinion on is Night in the Woods. But I do have general idea behind Par- Pariah. And, Did I ever uh, make you play Bastion and Transistor? No. No. Oh, well, that's disappointing. I tried to play Bastion and Pan Transistor. Just they're great games. Yeah. Continuing on yeah. to the next one, Cuphead's gonna win on that one. Best student game. Game. I would well, have. This to... is a cool category. So games developed by students. I assume so. Um, I, I would have to try these out. Yeah, I have, I have no clue what. Yeah, and it says a jury can pick it, so we can't even vote for these. Trending gamer. No, let's see what they are. I don't know any of these people. I don't know if they have Soviet Wumble on there. I'll give it to him. But other than that, no. I have no clue. These Best esports: are. Rocket League, League of Legends, Dota Two. Is that Counter Strike, Global Offensive, and Overwatch? Uh, Overwatch. CS:GO. CSGO. Because it is one of the it is one of the most famous, and it's never going to be unfamous. What's the category? Best esports, esports games. game. Well, League of Legends should win, and Overwatch is a big contender too. Yeah. I don't think the esports team in any of the other or or Rocket League at the very least is big enough, but it may win because it cleaned up last year, didn't it? Yes, it did, and. At least Rocket League is the one I'm most willing to play. Best eSport... Oh, sorry. Did you? No. No, no, I like it. You just don't like the big learning curve. You also like Overwatch, though. I've, well, you in Overwatch, I just play the medic and keep back and just keep everybody alive. So. That's a completely legitimate strategy. Yes, it is, and it's a good strategy, and I do good on it, but when it gets into the competitive, hey, we need need somebody to do DPS, tank... No, I can't figure that out. I'm just going to keep you alive, and then we're just going to keep trying. I'll keep you alive. You keep doing the hard stuff. Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Best eSports player. I don't watch eSports. And the eSports. Nope. Best eSports team. I thought uh, Cloud9. Cloud Nine. Nine. I'm voting for Cloud9. Yeah. Isn't that a music company? No. Maybe. I don't know. I don't... Yeah. Cloud9 is the only eSports team I actually know. Uh... And I've always rooted for them if I'm going to watch eSports, just because I Best don't know any others. Best debut indie game. Oh, I have uh, Slime Rancher. Uh, well, so Cuphead's going to win. Yeah. Uh, I enjoy Mr. Uh, Swifty. But I, but I liked Slime Rancher. It's cute. It's Swifty. Mr. Swifty. Okay. Best Chinese game. What? 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 <laughs> Moving on. I'm glad oh. that that's a category. I, Am I glad that's a category? I'm not glad it's a category. Why do the Chinese Fan get voted something? the most popular game in, in China. China. Uh, By Game Awards viewers in China. Is this because, like, there's the weird embargo that it's harder to get, like, Amer- Western games in China? I don't... What kind of degree is this? I, I don't... I don't... I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There we go. Thus is the Video Game Awards for 2017. Mm -hmm. We will have another one of these in post where we just get mad about the actual awards. I mean, I guess so. I think Breath of the Wild is going to clean up in conclusion. (laughs) Yeah, it's going to clean up a good bit. Destiny is going to win awards that it probably shouldn't have won. Why is PUBG here? Yeah, that's, that's basically how I feel. Yeah. It's a good summarization. I know you. I understand what your summarizations are. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, guys.